I'm going through all of my blanks to so know what I need to order, what I already have. Ugh, oh, I'm so mad. I'm, it's, mad's not the word, it's disappointed. 100% truth, like, I have not opened that room since we bought the house two years ago. I don't know what is lurking in there. I went to Goodwill and I didn't have Asher, which meant I could just like rummage through anything and everything I wanted and I found some cute stuff. I was like, I feel like this is tornado weather. He kept saying, no, it's not supposed to get that bad. Guess why we walked up at 340 to the sirens. Hello, good morning. I know I'm in the same outfit as the last video I ended on and that's because that's always how it goes. I tell you the show breakdown and then I come back for vlog. Did I say good morning? It is definitely not morning. It is like 4 p.m. So good afternoon. <laughs> I have spent the last two hours cleaning my office and it is still messy, but we got a lot of stuff organized. I'm going through all of my blanks to so know what I need to order, what I already have. I need to figure out something with that blue sweatshirt that I love so much and I'm afraid to put anything on it because I love it so much and I don't want it to be bad and, you know, like I want it to be a really good seller because they're so pretty. It would make me so upset if they just sat there and then they had to go on sale. You know what I mean? The stress of it. That's why they've been sitting here for months. And I need to make all of my embroidery for the rest of the green ones so that I can sell them at my next market, which is on St. Patrick's Day. And you know we need to have green for that. And I already sold like three or four of them at my last show and it wasn't St. Patrick's Day, so I think we're gonna do good with it. Um, and I still need to clean up that area and this area and this area and really still this area too. <laughs> I need some Zen. I have a headache. I don't have smell or taste. I've been draining. It's sinuses. I've been off and on sick the last month and I was on the uppity up and all of a sudden yesterday I woke up and I couldn't taste anything. So is it like an after symptom? Maybe I had, um, you know, the Rona virus last, last two years ago for like confirmed and I lost my taste and smell for two months and it was miserable and so I'm really hoping it's just sinuses because I do like that's pretty normal to lose my taste for a day or two um just with like drainage I'm just really feeling that I'm worried that it's more than that but I feel fine because like I literally just got over a cold which now I'm thinking was it a cold I don't know either way I'm feeling like sketched about it so anyways i'm really upset right now because ugh, oh i'm so mad i'm this mad's not the word it's disappointed in the timing of things which i'm hoping this is a sign from the universe it was supposed to happen but i and i was going back and forth and back and forth of signing up for this festival that's in my town i've never done a festival here or like a market here and we have one coming up for the solar eclipse and i didn't have anything that weekend it's a three-day festival um but i have my troy market with small town productions that upcoming weekend so like the one here ends on a monday and I go on Friday to the next festival in Troy. So I'm really, really like already stressed about making sure I have enough stock. And I was like, I need to try a local one because there's not, there's not any other ones I wanted to do. Um, the other ones were just like church craft fairs that like I'm not signing up for those anymore. Um, not that I ever signed up for a church craft fair before. My mom does those and likes them. Um, I just, that's not my demographic. <laughs> but I, ugh, I paid for it. I paid for it yesterday. I paid for it yesterday. And as I was paying, I was already like, don't do it, Brittany. Don't do it. You don't need that stress. You don't need that money. This money is not worth the stress. But then I'm like, logical side the money is worth the stress we need the money <laughs> so i signed up um and not even 24 hours later i got an email from my favorite town in the world to do festivals thus far oxford they sent me an email saying we need vendors for 
a, the solar eclipse festival that I'm, they're apparently throwing. On the, it's a one day festival, but it's, a, <laughs> it's one of the days I'm here for the festival here. So I'm so sad that that's not what happened. And it was $50 compared to $156. I would have saved money and I would have been with my people that I know um, enjoy me. <laughs> I don't know if this demographic here is gonna be my people. We're gonna find out. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm really, I'm really disappointed that that was the outcome of this. So <sighs> we're not gonna be with Oxford. The Miami University students, uh, we're not gonna be with them, which sucks. But that's okay. I'm still sad about it. Though. <laughs> I have a bunch of Oxford shirts still that I like. I sell them. It would be perfect timing to sell them because last time it was like cold when I was trying to sell them and now it's warm and I just, I just need to get into another Oxford festival. There's one coming up in June, but I signed up for another festival that I'm hoping to get into and I had already applied to the other one and I haven't heard back from them yet, but I have a good feeling when I get into it. Um, but if I don't, I'm really praying they really figure this out soon so I can go ahead and apply to the Oxford one, which is a wine festival, which, <laughs> wine and beer, just, you know, right up my alley. Um, and with that one, Randy would help me if I asked him. Although my mom does sell better than Randy does. He just sits there. He's just good for loading and unloading, whereas my mom is actually active. <laughs> so do we want to? I just like, it's bonding time, you know what I mean? Anyways, I just wanted to throw in the, like, this stuff happens. Like, they didn't have, I've been on Oxford's, like, town website, their community relations, but everything, their Facebook, and that festival is not on there. They must have just, like, started putting it together. So, otherwise I would have known, like, wait out for it, like, hold on out. I need to, my husband has an Asher, but he just woke up from his nap, which is almost always a very upsetting time for him. So I'm gonna go give that baby some cuddles and I'll be back with you guys probably to do more stuff in the office, but we really need to start ordering a few things for the upcoming festivals. And the stress of like figuring out what I wanna do with that too. Oh, I need t-shirts. I need to make, I need to draw some designs though. Excuse me, we have the prettiest red cardinal family that live somewhere in one of our trees and they're flying around outside. Um, all right, I need to get to drawing. All right, um, thank you for listening to my rant and I'll see you guys in like three seconds. Bye. <laughs>
I'm struggling with my words. And then I found this Ralph Lauren polo uh, 3T t-shirt, which will fit him right now. Um, who's buying their kids Ralph Lauren? Not, well, I am right now from Goodwill, but can you imagine? This is probably like $30 for a t-shirt that you know will only last them a season. And lastly for Ash, we have an H&M sweatshirt and it's just in this cute little sea green sea foam and it's cute and my poor baby out there randy's with him do not worry and then for mama which i have not tried it on yet so i'm gonna keep the tags on until i try it on because you can return you just can't get your money back you just get a store credit um, i found this dress from american eagle it's just like a frocked dress I think these go on the edge of your shoulders. I can't imagine that this would actually last on your shoulder. And it's long sleeve, but I really like the length of it. Um, I just don't know if it's going to look good. So we'll see. It's very stretchy. It should fit. I don't know how this is going to be on my wrist though. Like if I'm going to like that. Or if it's even going to look good with my pale skin. And then I'm so excited to try this one on because it is beautiful. I have no idea. It's called Midnight Sky is the brand. I haven't heard of it, but it feels really good material. I just love the color. It's just this button down kind of cropish tee. It should, I'm hoping, not be a crop top on me though. Um, like it should go to where like your pants start, hopefully. If that's not the case, I will return it. Um, but I love the blue color. I think that's gorgeous. I need, what I wanted in there is um, some Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, but they didn't have any. So I've been like on Poshmark sending offers and like saving things um, because I need to get a size up in my jeans. If anything, that show taught me none of my jeans are comfortable anymore. I obviously gained weight and I need another size. So that's fun. <laughs> But they didn't have any jeans, so I came home with this instead. Now I'm going to go, and I'll see you guys in the next clip doing something Chunky B related. <laughs> Bye. Asher just got asleep, so thank you, Ashley, for your order. Um, I hope you love it. If you are on YouTube, hello. Makes me happy. She ordered the Coquette. I think that's how you pronounce it. My bow <laughs> bookmark. It's adorable. I think this setup for my <laughs> packing orders might have been my tackiest one yet. So we're still struggling over here. It's a work in progress. I will figure it out someday. I'm gonna go though. I need to get to the gym and I'll see you guys again, probably when I'm starting more like embroidery work. Bye. Hi, happy Sunday. We are about to head to our blue box, take a little walkie because it is in the 50s. It was snowing in like 30, 20s yesterday. And today's in the 50s. My sinuses are just going wild. I lost my smell and taste for a day and a half. Thankfully, no longer than that, just because I'm just draining. Um, we do have our very first online sale of a um, like tumbler charm. I don't know how this is going to go. I think I did this correctly. Like this envelope is supposed to be no bigger than a quarter of an inch for shipping. And hopefully it's not more than that because if it is over a quarter of an inch, which I can't like, it's in a weird place to be able to actually measure it. But if it's over a quarter of an inch, I'm going to lose money on the sale. But if it's under, then I'll be fine because if it's under, it's only 88 cents. If it's over, it's like $5. So there's obviously like a huge gap in 
the price there. I'm really hoping this works. I'm a little sketched out by this order though. Um, so Shannon, if you are a real person and watching, please comment that. <laughs> it's a doggy. Uh, because I got this order and it was on Etsy and it was not a Sharon save, which is normally when I know it came from YouTube, um, which has been all my Etsy orders. It was just an Etsy order. Um, not that you can't get orders just from Etsy, obviously you can, but immediately after the order was placed, I got an, a message. It wasn't an email. It was a message from a fake person pretending to be Etsy support. Like they even had like their, uh, <laughs> like they messaged me in Etsy's messenger like you would if you were a customer messaging like the business. And it had a pixelated Etsy logo as their like profile photo. And then in the thing, it was like, this is Etsy support. Do not try to contact um, other support. You have to contact through the email. Like it was a, definitely a spam message. Like you could 100% tell. But it said, uh, Congrats on your order. Please put your email info here so that we can pay you, which obviously that's not how that works. Um, so I'm like, well, shoot, is this Shannon person the spammer, which I feel like kind of would have to be, right? For them to know that I got a sale right then because their last name, I won't say it because it could be a real person still, like still, but it's like deal is in it, like D-E-A-L and then a hyphen, and then like an animal name. So I don't, I'm so, con I don't think, like my heart of hearts tells me I'm not gonna see any profit from this. I think the person's probably gonna like, this is hypothetical. I think they're gonna be like, we didn't get the order, blah, blah, blah. So I'll probably lose money on this regardless. <laughs> I just, we'll see. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, again, apologies, Shannon, if you truly are a real person and you're watching this right now. Uh, it, the events though tell me that my gut might be right on this. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to share that. So we do have an order. I did pack it. It will be on YouTube Shorts. I just didn't film it for you guys to actually see right now. Obviously, you didn't see it. <sighs> I need to figure out a new package too. I don't like this envelope situation. I don't know exactly how to package it not like this though because it it's too expensive. I'm gonna have to just keep doing this. I just don't know. It's a rigid envelope, but it's not rigid enough for me to feel like super confident in it. At the same time, like it would have to be like stomped on and like ran over for it probably to get hurt, which hopefully doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go take that walk and I will update you guys. Well, you'll see me before I actually get to update you on what happens with this. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow doing something else. <laughs> Bye. I have wet hair, doesn't matter. Um, oh my gosh, hello. This morning, this poor camera, this poor camera, what are you, a Sony A5100? I've had it for 10 years now, almost, almost 10 years. And I have never dropped it until my winter market. You guys saw me drop it in the film. And since then, it has been dropped so many times, like at least 10 times between now and then. I don't know what is wrong. I think it's mainly because Asher. So like I walked in this morning to this room, which he's normally not, he doesn't have access to it. But every once in a while he escapes or, and I like accidentally leave the gate open and he immediately comes back here. I walked in. This child is tall enough now to grab things off my table, had my camera in both hands, looks at me, looks straight forward and just throws it onto the hardwood floor. Not even on the carpet, right? We have a rug here. No, he purposely throws it on the hardwood floor and it just like... <laughs> The whole lens just flies off. The pieces come apart again, which is not, like that's not unusual for that to happen. The uh, like the pieces I didn't even know could open, opened. Like this camera has really been through it and it's still surviving. So if that tells you that this is a quality camera, I don't know what does. Um, I'm just grateful that it's still filming because I truly do not know how. Um, the only reason I'm on right now 
is because, well, one I wanted to show you. I did not, per like, I didn't put them in here. Asher did. Asher <laughs> put all of them in here and then started, like, chucking them around the room. But I have started making a ton of pieces for my bookmark bar that I'm going to do starting in April at my markets. And I'm going to have to make hundreds and hundreds of these. I probably made... 40 yesterday, which is a lot. Like I spent hours doing this. Luckily, Asher let me do that. Normally he doesn't, but um, he let me make 40 of them yesterday. They're so, like, I just enjoy making them. I need to make my voice quiet because I am gonna wake him up. I'm on the other side of the house, but we have a very small house. So like, that's not that far apart. Um, but yeah, he put them all in this tissue case. And actually, I'm gonna keep them in here because it's a good way to keep them contained and hopefully away from him but the reason I popped on I am freshly showered if you didn't guess from my hair I usually have it up but it's drying um, and honestly well to be completely honest I took I had it in a claw clip and I looked crazy and so I took it down so this is the less crazy version of myself we only have 13% of battery to deal with this uh, but I ordered I didn't tell you guys this I watch Goo Goo Goods, and for some reason her name is blinking on me right now. Um, but she does tumblers, and I always see her selling them at the markets. And like, it's not a huge seller for her, but it does like bring people in. So like, I would love because I have my glass cups, and we know how I feel about that. Um, breakable objects can't put them in the dishwasher. I went through a man in Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> which unfortunately we don't live there anymore. So I couldn't just like pick them up. So I had to have them shipped, which is expensive. But I did a small batch order of 10 tumblers in three different colors. And I sent him a design and had him engrave them because I kind of want to see how they do. I am not making like <laughs> really anything on these. Like I'm not going to lose money on them, but I'm only going to make maybe like $5 on them if they sell. Hopefully they sell. And I only ordered 10. Um, but I want to see how they do because if you watch Goo Goo Goods, you should. She does like awesome market vlogs. She goes through like, because she gets stuff on Alibaba manufactured. Um, You have to do large quantities though. And like, I'm not positive in how they're going to do. So I wanted, I wanted to do the small batch. Someone that can easily ship it to me and it's not going to take like six months to get in. So... I ordered ones that say, oh, I'll show them, I'll open them. I haven't opened them yet, but it's like a mom design because uh, Mother's Day is coming up in a few months and, you know, got to bank on that. And also, like, I made something like I would want to use. And so instead, now I'm so excited. So instead of using my Stanley for my display, which I told you, I just constantly have on display. I don't even use it anymore. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to keep one of the mama ones for my display cup. Um, obviously I would sell it if someone used it, but I'm not going to like drink out of it. I'm going to use my Stanley again. Um, actually I might actually keep two. We'll see. Maybe not. Cause then I'm not going to make anything on this, but, um, let's open them and see how it turned out. I'm a little nervous, but again, I only ordered 10 of them. So worst case scenario, it was, um, like a, it was a bad I don't I don't know let's let's see let's see before I like ramble yes and my slippers Randy's every time I have them on he's like those are the most hideous slippers ever and um, they are it was the only size 10 at TJ Maxx I could find though and they're already like stretched out to the point where I've literally fallen down the stairs because my foot just slid right through them um okay this is completely taped up the top because I don't think he had a box that fit it. <laughs> he ordered, he shipped this within a day, like literally. He made them and within two hours shipped it. So um, turnaround time was amazing. I will leave, the, if you're like interested in it, I will leave you who I found because um, like, like I said, if you're someone, if you're gonna do this, for every market and like it's gonna be a something that you continue, you're definitely not gonna wanna do this route. Um, but if you're someone like me, where it's like you don't really wanna, you just wanna dip your toes in, or maybe you wanna make 10 family members something or friends, like this, this is the guy for you. You do pay for shipping and it was 
for me $44. But I, I got it within a week, you know? And yes, I do have a box cutter. I just failed to use it. They all came individually boxed, which is wonderful. I'm not going to sell these online, though, because I, I couldn't sell them for what I would need to sell them to, like, offer shipping. <laughs> free shipping or not even free shipping. Um, you could just buy a Stanley for that price. <laughs> so my plan with these is I'm going to actually customize each one with a cute little matching Stanley charm. And then I think I'm going to sell them for $30. So the cup and the charm. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so this is the lilac color and this is the design. So it says mom, mom, mommy, mama. It's so cute. <gasps> and they all come with a straw as well. Oh, I think that's obvious. Okay, let me pull out the other two colors and then um, I'm gonna have to shut this off because my battery is out. Oh, I need this one. This is mine. Look at this green color, a lime green. Mm -mm -mm. Flat. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are gonna sell. Like, I'm pretty confident in it. Oh wow, that's so pretty. So, all you have to do is send him your design. You do a transparent uh, background on it and then he puts it on. So I just said, make it as big as you can. Um, and this is the biggest he could get with like the width and everything for his laser engraver. Some people have bigger machines, some people don't. Uh, but I thought this was like perfect size. I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, now I'm heading out and I'm just gonna like relax the rest of the day. Maybe get a few more charms done. So I will see you guys tomorrow doing... Well, if I have more charms, more charms. But otherwise, I think we need to start embroidering again. I don't hate it, but I kind of hate it. Okay, bye. I'm gonna be hunched over right now because I am currently taking off some of these threads from the jump stitches on my don't stare sweatshirt which is the cutest little thing um I am tired I look crazy I have like I know I'm in the same thing I wore yesterday because I slept in it obviously I wore these as PJs um, but I haven't put on my workout outfit yet because it's just cozy and comfy, and I didn't want to put on anything else. Um, and I have not done my hair. So, today I have embroidered three sweatshirts total. I only have two of these left. I am struggling with, like, what I want to do with inventory. I don't know if I want to get more so that I can sell these at my two early April markets, or if I just want to be done with this design i don't know I'm, I'm i'm really really struggling on inventory of in general like what i want to buy and what i don't i keep i've done it three times where i made a sheet of like what i need to order and every time i do it like halfway through i just stop because i am so overwhelmed and i don't know if i want to order more or not it sounds like a very minor problem, but it is a problem, and I need to order it soon. March 1st is when I'm going to do the order because I use PayPal credit, and um, I need to wait. I've already spent too much money on markets that I was able to use PayPal credit for that I don't want to spend too much in one month, and then like six months from now, uh, when I have to pay it, I'm, you know, feeling ultra stressed. So March 1st is the day we're going to do our order. And right now I have my cart of like $1,200 full just in like 
blank merch clothing wise and I don't want to spend my money I don't want to spend that much I want to like probably cut that in half and so I really need to decide what I want to sell and how much of it it's honestly give me so much anxiety because I have my March 17th market which I'm hoping these all sell out because it's St. Patrick's Day and they're green um and then I have a three day <laughs> Within a one week period, I have six days of market. So I don't know, I don't know how much I need because I've never done a three day market before. I guess I can look at how my two day market went, markets I've done. Actually, maybe I've only done one two day market. I need to look back and see how that went, how many sweatshirts I sold there. And maybe that'll give me an idea of like what I want to do. And But I don't want to do this much embroidery, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I might actually do my anxious sweatshirt, my coping skills one, in another color. Those are easy for me to do. I can just, like, heat pressing, I can do many of them. Whereas, like, this takes me an hour, you know? And I can probably heat press, like, ten of them in an hour. Maybe more than that. So, I might just focus on that. But again, I don't know. And I need to get um, in the order, a different order. I've used Timu a lot for my uh, beads. I need to do an order for beads and some, uh, my brain is just not functioning. Some eye pens and stuff. We had last night a nasty storm and we had a tornado warning and we were woken up at well, I was technically woken up way before that because like I don't sleep well during thunderstorms and we had a severe thunderstorm watch and my husband kept saying like, cause I was like, I feel like this is tornado weather. He kept saying, no, it's not supposed to get that bad. And guess what? We got woken up at 3.40 to the sirens. And so this is my first experience having to like just grab Asher out of his bed and going downstairs in our basement is not nice. So my husband grabbed two of our dining room chairs and we just sat in the middle of like our unfinished basement um luckily we only had to sit down there for 20 minutes and like our house is fine i don't think that like they had tornadoes like circulation formed i just don't think that it hit down i actually haven't looked that up yet so maybe it did and i don't know um but everyone's fine but i'm tired asher though it's such a rare occurrence let us sleep in until 9 a.m which at that point I'm like, ugh, I would have rather gotten up at eight. Like I don't like, I used to love sleeping in as late as I could, but anymore it's like my whole morning is ruined. <laughs> so anywho, point saying that's, I'm tired. <laughs> I did not sleep well. The hail was very loud. And luckily we have a garage, so I don't have to worry about hail damage to cars. Last time we had a nasty hail storm, um, Randy's parents had to get a new roof which sucks. So they have a metal roof and I think that's kind of the price you pay with metal roofs, but I don't know about like normal roofs. I feel like that could still hurt them too. I also have gone back to my new bra thread medium weight uh, cutaway embroidery just because I felt like I was getting a lot of like movement on my clouds and because of that I feel like this is just going to be a little more like stable for it to not mess up and that way I don't have as many misfits for my uh, today's vibe collection. All right that's pretty much all I wanted to update you on. I think I'm going to this weekend go down into the basement because last night I was like grossed out by just this situation we had not that we get tornadoes all the time but in our basement there is a creepy little room in the back that has nasty laminate like vinyl like one sheet flooring that I need to rip up um it has some mold like in the corner so I need to do research and see if I need to bring in a professional or if I can like get some special uh, face mask it's not active anymore I don't think but I know there's mold removal uh, chemicals that you need to buy so I need to do that and I need to fix that little room up because it wouldn't take much 
and I could make it into like a storage area. And also if we have more tornadoes, especially with tornado season coming, we can have a spot where it's not like disgusting, you know, because it has a door, it has walls. It's just this random weird room. You'll see it. It's creepy because I'm like, what happened down here? Uh, why is there this random room in the corner that's like still gross, but it's like someone lived there, but like I would never ever let anyone sleep down there ever. <laughs> Who was down here? Not to mention our house when we bought it had different locks on every door and a lot of them didn't have handles. I'm like, even more concerning. I've changed them all out by now, don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you guys that. Maybe this weekend we'll have just like a fun little outing to my basement because honestly, truthfully, 100% truthfully, I have not opened that room since we bought the house two years ago. I don't know what is lurking in there, like what creepy crawlers might have been living in it. I think Randy's been in there once or twice just to make sure that the mold wasn't growing. I actually don't even know if it's mold. I think it is though. I think at one point there's a window in there it had leaked rain or something and we have humid dehumidifiers now so it's not wet anymore. I don't know. Maybe we just need to resell that window. I am going on a like random tangent. I'm gonna go. I need to probably get dressed. And Asher's gonna wake up anytime. I only have two of these left to embroider, so I probably will do those tomorrow. Or I'll just do them today. I'll finish them, just have them done with. I think I'm gonna end in the vlog here. I know sometimes it's just like, you see me like a few times a week and I like put it all in one. Um, I'm gonna pick back up with you guys tomorrow and we are most likely going to be doing some heat pressing because I don't have the tools I need to do my bookmarks right now. So I will see you then. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It helps my channel so much. And then you get notified of my videos. And I'll see you within the next week. Bye.